here we can give port here we can define the tcp port for telephony service port the port range is 2002999 here we can specify any port i will give 2000 enter so ip source address 192.168.100.1 so using this command we can communicate to the communication manager exit okay first of all go to the global mode here we can give telephony iphone service because we will configure ip phone that is tel service so I, I will give telephony iphone service then we can go to here we can give max iphone e phone the maximum e phone we can use here i will use four phones but i will give five and maximum maximum iphone directory that is dn five directory i will give so ip space source address space 192.168.100.1 and port space 2000 so using this command we can communicate to the communication manager we can uh, register that phone mac address as well as ip address okay now we can assign the directory for that phone the syntax for assigning directory to each cisco ip phone is e phone iphone directory i will give one now i can assign the number number thousand one exit e phone iphone directory two i will assign the number for second i phone is thousand two exit e phone iphone directory space three i will assign the number for third cisco ip phone is thousand three exit e phone iphone directory here i will give four the number is thousand four exit okay now we can assign the directory for each ip phone now we can check that configuration go to that privilege mode here i will give show e phone here we can see the four ip phone mac address can be registered but still we cannot register an ip address so now we can assign that so through the tcp port only we can register the mac address of that cisco ip phone to communication manager go to the configure terminal here i will give e phone space one here i will give button okay in cisco ip phone we have one two three four five here we have six button but here i will give bust first button for ip address assigning the ip address so button one colon button exit now the ip address can be now that cisco ip phone can be registered yeah ip phone register e phone one we can assign the ip address for that ip seven already we can get the ip address but we cannot be registered to the communication manager i will assign the i will register the second e phone e phone two button one colon one okay the directory already assigned because the button one okay button one colon the second value assign as an directory number value here in first i phone i will give first button and this directory number is thousand one that can be assigned as an one that is e phone iphone directory one we can assign the number as thousand one so here i will give one now button iphone two in second cisco ip phone we can assign the number as e phone iphone directory two so that's why i will give two exit e phone space 
three button one that is six buttons are there in Cisco IP phone the first button I will select three exit e phone e phone space four button one colon four exit okay now we can see that configuration go to the privilege mode show e phone here we can see the ip address can be assigned okay now we can check that in, in Cisco IP phone the first IP phone register as a 1001 and second IP phone register as a 1003 number now the first Cisco IP phone can be called to the second Cisco IP phone 1003 I will dial the number and ring out the call can be ringing yeah the receiver can get the call from the Cisco IP phone the call from 1001 I will attend miss the call can be connected the both of them will be communicating in that time if another phone will try to access miss it will display the busy let's see busy message okay now the PC also communicate with another PC ping 192.168.1 hundred dot the IP for second PC is 20 20 yeah we can get replay so at the time we can communicate data we can communicate data transmission as well as voice transmission so Cisco IP phone is carries the data traffic as well as the voice traffic so after finishing the communication we can line can be disconnected okay now the first IP phone can be called to the fourth IP phone the fourth IP phone number is 1002 let's be see okay we can dial 1002 the ring can be going the uh, yeah we can get call from the IP phone 1001 we can attend that call to communicate with Cisco IP phone 1001 okay the main advantage of voice VLAN is using single port we can create voice VLAN as well as data VLAN only the Cisco IP phone have carries the data traffic as well as the voice 